Hi girls and guys, it's Mr. Trek here and we're on the right track. In today's video, we're going to go through the top five skins you regret not buying in Fortnite Battle Royale. But before we do any of that, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell to get all my videos as soon as they're published. And if you wanna, drop a like on the video. Now, you may have noticed there are skins and harvesting tools that keep returning back to the store and to most people's delight. But when you look in the comment section on Twitter, you always see a specific set of skins get wrote down as a comment towards Epic Games that they want to return. And there's probably a reason why these haven't returned, but there's definitely a sense of regret, especially from myself and looking like it from the community as well for not buying certain skins in Fortnite Battle Royale. So at number five, has to be one of the Christmas skins and for me specifically the gingerbread man and I'm going to include the gingerbread girl on this. These skins were highly sought after and you don't really see them that much but you know when you see one of these coming it's an OG player. I wasn't playing Fortnite Battle Royale at Christmas time. I was one of the posse criticizing this game for looking too cartoonish and look at me now. <laughs> oh how things have changed. I am absolutely livid that I didn't buy this skin. So yes, this game has got me by the balls and I was wrong guys. I was criticizing it for being cartoony and now I want a gingerbread skin. What a good looking skin, so aggressive looking, so intimidating and you know when you see this come along, it's just an OG player ready to do damage on the map. Coming in at number four, this is a very, very rare skin, but it is a skin that I believe if it came back to the store would do quite well, but this is why it's in number four because a lot of people probably don't even know about this skin. It's an OG skin, season one, we're talking about the Renegade Raider. This skin here, it, it, it does look it does look really good. And I believe the way it worked is you didn't you wasn't able to buy this in the store. You had to get to a certain rank and then you was given it um, level 35, I believe. I'm not 100 percent sure if I'm correct, but I believe it's level 35. So when you see somebody coming towards you and they're wearing this particular outfit, you know they are people that have been playing the game since season one, the very start show them some respect or go extra try hard on them and show them that you're an OG. <laughs> now we're starting to get into the meat and potatoes of the videos. These are the skins that if they came back into the store, I believe they'd break them. There have been so many additions to this game that have just been highly, highly sought after. I mean, if you look at the scythe, the Grim Reaper scythe that uh, one of the skins comes with in this game, if that came back into the store, we just know that it would absolutely shut down the place. One of the best harvesting tools I've seen personally, and if it ever came back, you can believe that my, my cards are coming out of the wallet. It's, it's getting purchased, it's getting purchased. Coming in at number three is the Red Knight. Now, there's a specific reason I've gone for the Red Knight. Me, I love the Black Knight personally, but there is just something extra special about the look of this particular skin. And I genuinely believe that there are a lot of people out there that if this came back in a store, it, it would be a impulse reaction to buy this. But in a way, I kind of hope that they don't bring back particular skins because it's kind of a kick in the teeth to certain people who have brought them, which makes them so rare. If you just pop them back in the stop, the shop, sorry, then they aren't going to be as special as such. And I, I believe Epic Games has probably done this for a reason. And there should be limited edition things that come out once and that is that is it. But if the Red Knight came back into the store, a season two edition, then I definitely believe it would attract some major attention. Usually when you come up a, a, against a Red Knight, highly accomplished player, highly try hard, get the towels out because you are going to be sweating during that gunfight. Coming in at number two, and this was this was a bit of a battle between number one and this particular skin here, but I, I just really felt like in my heart, this had to go in at number two. And we are talking about the Ghoul Trooper. Now, this was one of the Halloween skins that came out. Absolutely epic looking skin. One of my favorites. 
I wasn't lucky enough to be playing the game as again I've said I highly I uh, was criticizing the game highly and um, I've come around so please congratulate me on that I've come around I've come to my senses but for me this skin here is definitely um just such it, it's so it's so different the fact that they're green um she's got half a face looking kind of evil it half a face with a cheeky smile it's just such a, a good addition to the game and it's a brilliant brilliant looking skin i'm hoping that they don't bring it back out for halloween personally because then that will again take away just how special this skin looks but for me ghoul trooper has to go in at number two now we before we go in at number one i'm sure there are plenty of skins that you probably thought would have made this list and it's probably down to personal choice and personal preference but these are the skins that i believe the majority of people would have loved to have purchased and really actually regret not buying them there's nothing worse than when you come up against somebody and see a, a skin just looking so amazing and then they've got the love range of wings on the back and you just think to yourself why the hell didn't I buy that skin? A lot of people complain about paying 20 bucks for a skin, but it's a free game. <laughs> it's a free game. Even if you spent 20 bucks on one skin, you, you, you spent less than you have on any other game. I paid 90 quid for Call of Duty World War 2 and I don't play it no more. I, I don't feel like I got my money's worth and this game's free. So it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt me to spend money on it in terms of getting skins but i'm not gonna lie it's getting a bit excessive now <laughs> they, they keep bringing out these damn good skins but coming in at number one on the list can you guess what it is yet it's gotta be for me and it's probably for you and write this down in the comment section if it was your number one choice i really want to know is the skull trooper it's just such a bad ass skin You've got a skeleton running to you part of the halloween collection and for me was just absolutely epic i actually believe this was cheaper than the ghoul trooper i believe it was 1200 v bucks and you got the uh the harvesting tool correct me if i'm wrong but that's what i believe happened and i believe this the gold trooper was 1500 but for me the skull trooper is probably the number one best looking skin in this game and definitely the skin that i think all of us who haven't got it just regret not buying it you only have to look in the comment sections when epic games tweet on twitter about skins and stuff like that and you just get a collection of people when's when's the score trooper coming back bring back the score trooper bring back this you just look down in the comment section and you will see it. that's how epic this skin is but me personally once again i just believe they should just leave it alone now maybe put it in the store i don't know for two hours like a really limited time because you don't want to see everybody running around with a skull trooper that will just ruin the the skin and why it looks so good does myth have anything to do with why it's so popular i don't know personally if myth didn't didn't wear this i think it would still be just as epic as it is because it just looks so damn evil so guys that's my collection of the top five skins you regret not buying including myself put it down in the comment section the number one skin that you wish you brought and then give me your top five collection of skins that you regret not buying in fortnite battle royale guys there are many buttons you could hit but the like and subscribe button i hope they take your fancy and as always guys don't forget to stay on the right track peace Thank <laughs> you.